This is Hart Lake at 5,700 feet above sea level in the Fremont National Forest between Klamath Falls and Lakeview. It's a perennially good trout fishery that has gone downhill in recent years due to illegal introductions of brown bullhead catfish and fathead minnows. They end up kind of working against each other as far as the brown bullhead and the rainbow trout. And so people really come here to catch rainbow trout. And so the satisfaction of the angler, we don't want these brown bullhead in here either for another source population to move to other water bodies. So, you know, the main reason is making sure that, you know, people are happy as far as, you know, what they're catching. A small body of water like Hart Lake is an ideal location for applying rotenone because there's nowhere for the fish to hide. The natural plant-based chemical kills fish by preventing them from extracting oxygen from the water through their gills. At the concentrations used to kill fish, rotenone is not toxic to humans, other mammals, or birds, though precautions must be taken during application. The chemical breaks down completely in the environment and is not detectable within a few weeks of treatment. I've been working on this for six years and it's just mainly making sure that we're doing everything right and there's other projects around the state. So I'm not the only person that has these problems with illegal introductions. Wearing Tyvek suits and breathing through air filters, crews spray liquid rotenone into the shallows through a pump that resembles a fire nozzle. In deeper sections of the lake, powdered rotenone is injected 10 feet below the surface to reach suspended fish and those holding near the bottom. The equipment you're wearing and what these crews are wearing, you wear this to just make sure this chemical doesn't get on you. Yeah, so it's a super highly regulated process and everybody that's in these suits has gone through the Oregon Department of Agriculture and we have a license for it. And then what's it like to work in that kind of equipment? For me, because I'm kind of a shore guy today, um, if it would have been cold out, I could have dressed a lot warmer. And we've actually done this at, we, we treated North Twin Lake in the Deschutes District and it snowed on us the whole time. So it was like freezing cold and it, it kept people busy because the second you stopped, you got a little cold. But yeah, we, we really don't have many issues. The biggest issue would be overheating. But this Tyvek really isn't bad. Rotenone works quickly. Within minutes of application, I saw fish rising to the surface trying to escape the chemical. The day after the treatment, biologist Justin Miles counted more than 60,000 dead catfish and minnows. Many will be pulled from the water in nets, but most will sink to the bottom and fertilize the lake for future plantings of rainbow trout. People want a better fishery here and they're noticing that the fish sizes are decreasing and so we're, we're more than happy to go through the grant process, do everything. Cause I mean, this is of course a last case scenario. We don't want to be treating water bodies, but if we get to that point and we work with the public so that they don't just put these unwanted fish back in, it's a fantastic win. And to be clear, it is illegal for anyone to introduce any fish into any water body or transport live fish for any reason. If you happen to see someone transplanting fish or suspect the activity is occurring, please report it by calling 1-800-452-7888. It's even easier from a cell phone. Just dial star OSP or star 677. From Heart Lake, I'm Brooke Snavely for The Great Outdoors. Mm -hmm.